Hey everybody, welcome back to my second episode of Rogue Tech. And we're calling this series Cold Forge, as you can see on the uh, um, thumbnails for the videos. And what we're going to do today, the first episode we went through, we went and basically got ourselves set up and ready to go. Be a quick look at our mech bay here. Um, we tweaked out our guys here a little bit, um, changed a little bit of the layout, added some endosteel to the Centurion, um, changed the ammo loadout slightly, added a Warfare Suite, Phoenix Hawk, we added uh, the Angel ECM and an NSS. The um, Jenner, we pulled out the small lasers, add, added a, uh, some stealth armor and more armor to him. And the Firefly, uh, we pulled out some of the small uh, lasers, added the triple plus small lasers from the Jenner. And a little bit more armor, I think we added. And anyways, we also added um, an ECM, I believe. Yes, Guardian ECM. So we're pretty well set up defensive-wise. So we're going to move on today and just get right into a mission. Um, it's been one month and we've pulled off no missions yet. Still got 228,000. Um, 295,000 is what we owe at the end of the month. So we got a little bit of time to do that. Probably be able to pull off a couple of missions before the end of the month. So we're going to go to the command center and go right to contracts. And I've been looking at these. I'm thinking we're going to take the weakest link first. Start off with something simple, and we're going to negotiate. I'm not going to go for full salvage. I'm going to take a little bit of money, a little bit of salvage, just so we have enough to cover our drop cost and any repairs, and take a bit of salvage. So we'll just accept this. Um, the last time we, uh, I did my series, um, I basically set up a rule where I said I'm not going to take any mech salvage at all. But I think I'm going to change that slightly. Let's put Pylon on the Phoenix Hawk here. Let's put Hickory in the Firefly, and let's throw Behemoth in the Jenner. Um, I'm going to allow myself to choose uh, mech parts, um, mech salvage. Um, last time, I think it was a little slow getting off the ground, getting new mechs up and running and stuff. Later on, it wasn't so bad where we were um, taking on... We had three lance go lances going by the end, and we were getting plenty of mech parts. So, But I think with this one... Um, we'll probably allow ourselves to choo me choose mech parts, although I'm thinking that most likely to start off we're not going to be choosing mech parts. I want to choose some good components to get these guys built up and get them nice and tough so we can start moving towards the clan area to take on clans. Now, I also want to run a multi-lance uh, again this time, so that's what we're going to be heading to. Um, I'd like to try to run four lances if I can. I know it's going to be a lot of cash, but pulling off four missions a month, I think, shouldn't be too bad. Uh, if we're lucky, we can pull off eight missions in a month. Make some good cash, make our way through the clan territories. I know it's going to cost a lot to get all the way to the clan homeworlds, but, you know, we'll, we'll be able to do that with the number of mechs we're going to have running. So let's begin the mission here. All right, let's get this done. Four of us on the ground. So this is an assassinate mission. And I think we're only up against one Lance of Guys. Usually if there's reinforcements, they're right here. So one Lance of Guys. I have no idea what the main mech is, but we're going to do our standard move. Just reserve back here to, turn, right to uh, turn one. Then we're going to make our way up the left side here. Oops, I almost double-clicked yep. that one. Uh, what do we got here? Who's on this side? Pylon yep, first. Commander. So Pylon's in the Phoenix Hawk. I removed the large laser and added two mediums instead. Um, large laser does 45, mediums do 25. I figured it was uh, better to have an extra chance to hit than it was to uh, have the extra 20 damage on one weapon. Especially at lower levels. I know the Jenner, we pulled a bunch of weapons. Well, we pulled the two small lasers off and we ended up putting them on here. So the Firefly's got a double heat sink engine, so we really have to be careful with this guy. We don't want to lose him. Let's just reserve again. Copy that. So our Phoenix Hawk pylon here is going to be the one that we're going to use to at least do some scouting with. Roger that. Um, primarily going to be the scout mech, I think. Got it. We got one, got two, something. three chevrons. Okay. And Hickory will be the back attack person. And cold metal fire support, and then of course um, behemoth in the uh, Jenner is just going to be artillery. Standing by. Let's move Hickory up. Actually, we can get up here, so let's do that. Well, let's get over here actually. 
acknowledged. Get behind the trees, behind the hill. Get ready to jump out. What's that and song? Behemoth, let's just stay up here. Confirmed. Even though she's a missile unit, I want her to be able to have direct fire. So she's got direct um, pinpoint damage of 245 damage points. So we've got a javelin here. Is that a PPC? I don't think I've ever seen a PPC on a javelin before. Snub those PPC, PPC and two machine gun arrays. Alright. Gonna reserve, see what else comes out. Got another mech here. Urban mech. r 63 L. What's that? Light PPC. LB... Oh my god. LBAC-20. Okay, it'd be nice to have that. Um, let's reserve and see what else they have. So this guy's a light mech, because he's already gone. A couple of medium vehicles. So some kind of laser vehicle. Let's see if we can get behind the uh, urban mech here. I really want that LB-20X. It would be nice to put that on the Centurion once we get a, um, like an ultralight gyro or some other stuff we can lower the weight on them. Minimal damage on that hit. Okay, so how can we get behind? Hmm. I think I want to be like... Who do I want to make sure I kill right out, though? we got to kill somebody here. Maybe we just move up. 50, 56, and 84. 79 with the missiles. 84. Let's just move here. I'm going to save our medium lasers and some heat till we get a little closer. We're going to fire straight in the javelin. Nice. Oh, took his head right off. Oh my god, excellent. Enemy destroyed. Well, there's some good salvage. wonder what he had in him. Besides the uh, snub-nosed PPC. We might take that, actually. Alright, that's the side attack. Can we get behind him? We can get behind him. Can we stay up on the hill and get behind him? We can, and we can actually move into here. It's a chance to hit 23 in there. 54 is from here. So let's move up this way. I'm gonna shoot the urban mech in the back. If we get extremely lucky, we get four center torso back hits and he's dead. But, uh, oh, he's got endo steel. Oh, uh, maybe we don't want to do that. Hmm. Feral fibers, endo steel. Portal double heat sinks. This guy's actually really good. I want to try for a headshot on this guy, I think. Can we offensive push a leg on the back? We can't. What has he got where here? Ugh. Now I don't want to even shoot at him. Um... Hmm. That's all I can shoot at, I guess. Alright, well, let's take some pot shots at him. Let's make him worried. Yeah. I don't know how to kill that guy without... Unless we can take his head off. Luckily, yeah, chance of doing that twice is going to be really small. Alright, do we want to move forward and give us... Hmm. I'm thinking we need a sprint. Simply because of the LB-20X. I do not want to be in a position where that guy's got a good chance to hit me. We'll take some more pot shots at him. I don't think we'll be able to take his arm off, but we'll just take a couple pot shots at him. Alright, we hit. Let's make him a little worried. Hopefully that was a torso hit. Uh, and let's bring Behemoth. Let's stay... How? What's the chance to hit here? 25. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's move up here. And let's do a cold shot for his head. See if we can get a headshot on this guy. 
30% chance. Unlikely, but... One hit? Alright, where do we hit, though? Leg, probably? Or is that a torso hit? But not a torso hit. So where was that coming from? The, that what couldn't have been the vehicle. Maybe this guy? Um... We don't want to get down into ALB-20X range. How are we doing for... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to reserve. Reserving action. If he's going to fire on anybody, I want him to fire on the Centurion. So right now, everyone's got really good evasion. What's this guy? Goblin. Large laser and a machine gun with a ton of armor. Okay, that's no big deal. We're going to reserve. Here comes the Irby. Whoa. 14 points. I don't know, I kind of feel nervous about, like, not just killing that guy outright. Alright, a little bit of missile fire, no big deal. I'm showing minor damage. You are showing minor damage. Alright, now we have the choice of what we want to do with these guys. Let's move in, um... Can we not get down this hill? I used to think we could get down this hill. How do we get down over here? Well, if we move over here... Hmm. Pretty good chances to hit on the Irby. Thinking maybe we don't mess around with this guy. As much as I'd love to be able to just... We've got a CT hit on him already. To just pick and choose stuff out of this guy to keep... I'm thinking that we should just... Well... Doesn't have full armor on his head, though. Let's go for... Let's try for another headshot. Why not? Give it this one turn. If we get lucky... Well, he's unsettled anyway. As he should be if a whole lance of guys start shooting for his head. Uh, we need to make sure we got lots of evasion here. All right. Gonna fire on the Irby again, just fire everything. Attacking from position. The more we shoot at him, the more unhappy he's gonna be. Goblin's got lots of armor. Um, should I move into the trees here? Can I see the Irby but not the Goblin here anywhere? Not really. 69. 92% chance to hit from here. Are you serious? Got it. Let's just move over here then. Boom, here comes. Okay, LB 20x crit should be unstable. See if we can knock him over. I think Pylon can knock him over. He's out of range to hit. Hmm. This is a tough choice. Can we walk to here? We can. So let's walk to here. Let's just shoot at the Irby. Firing everything. Is that a head hit? Well, there goes the LB-20X. He bailed. Yes! Oh my god, that worked out perfectly. Well, we lost the LB-20X, but still. Ferrofibrous and endosteel. I wonder if he had a double heat sink engine. Um, let's do... This guy's got so much armor. Um, how are we doing for... Let's reserve. We're pretty good for evasion, I think. Yeah. So we're all going to gang up on this guy and fire on his side. We're going to start with uh, Behemoth yes, first. Commander. Let's get around to this side. I think once he's dead, um, the vehicle and this guy won't be able to see us. They'll have to move forward. So let's fire both on this side here. 
84% chance and one miss, really. I mean, I guess, I know you can't hit all the time, but still. Going after the Firefly. Handful of hits, no big deal. As long as we're not getting hit in the head. Waiting for orders. So let's get Cold Metal. Um, we want to get closer. Probably. Just slightly. I think we're going to be overheating. Yeah, we're going to leave one medium laser off. Fire the rest. Okay, the AC hits. That's the most important thing. Mostly on the front on this guy. So I'm thinking we should probably try and get around to his front now. Oh, we can step on this guy. We want to do that though. 75% chance. Let's do it. We're going to cool ourselves off. We're going to go from the relatively from the front there. And the big pan down and tilt over. And here it comes, folks. Make sure you hit. Please hit. Big sunset in the background. I think that was like 70-something damage. That was a turret hit, looks like. No, that was front. Almost enough. Alright, Hickory, let's finish it up. Moving in. And this is overkill, but we're going to fire everything. I'm taking the shot. And, of course, you couldn't hit the location we needed, but sure. <sighs> really? Really? That's an LRM-5. Barely hit, Commander. Yeah, I saw that, but what mech is an LRM? This guy is what? Turn 3? Turn 3. So, Hickory. Dickory Dock, let's move forward. And hopefully don't, we don't get shot in the clock. Let's just attack this guy straight out. We should be able to kill him this time. Oh my god, are you serious? That's it, you're, no, you're not allowed in that mech anymore. You need, you need to be taken out of that mech, that's just insane. That's still side shots, so we gotta shoot this guy in the side, really? We might get lucky and hit the front, but... Oh my god. Oh my god, I cannot believe you missed that. This guy shoots your head off, it's your own fault. I can't believe you missed that. Alright. We are going to move down here. Going to split fire. Going to fire at this guy. And this guy, leaving the medium laser off. Actually, maybe we should leave the mediums on. Turn the AC off. Hmm. Severe heat problems here. Let's go this route then. We might get lucky and hit the front of that mech, but let's fire the LRMs at A. Actually, if I turn this off and this on instead, it's only 43 on A. Let's go this route. It's only going to be a light peppering of damage, but at least we got something started over there. Ah, really? No Alright, Pylon, it's all up to you. Got to kill that vehicle, buddy. Well, at least it wasn't a back shot. Come on. Send me a real mess. Good to go. Yeah, you know better than to say things like that. You do. Why would you say something like that? Affirmative. Send me a real mech warrior. He's going to kill you now. Thank you. See, that's how you do it. Vehicle trashed. Hickory, you need to take lessons from Fien from uh, Pylon, buddy. I can't believe you had that, like 14 shots and you couldn't hit that one spot in the front. Two LRM5s. What is this guy? Oxide. Oh, that's one of those gen uh, advanced Jenners. Two SRM4s, two LRM5s. Okay, we're going to engage him from range. So let's go with uh, Behemoth first. Let's walk forward. Going to put a couple of uh, Thunderbolts on this guy. Target damaged. Nice. Bring it down. 
Alright, Hickory, how much armor does this guy have? Striker, lots of armor. We just won LRM-15. Uh, we don't want to get ourselves into a position where we can be fired upon by those SRM-4s. So if we just walk forward, can't fire everything. Maybe we should want to get some more uh, evasion going here. Let's do this. Understood. Moving fast. Get a lot of evasion going. And we'll fire with... We'll leave these three smalls off, fire with everything else. Copy that. Okay, two hits. Fair enough. That was pretty good. That kind of redeemed yourself. It was really low chances to hit. Slightly redeemed yourself. There's a Lerm. Not a big deal. Once again, we want to keep ourselves away from the Oxide's SRMs. By. And we can't quite engage that guy unless we run up the hill. So we're going to do that. I think we'll probably be okay. Let's fire everything into this guy's side. Actually, we're going to leave a small laser off to save a little bit of heat. It's got a low chance to hit. Roger that. Two hits. Okay. Getting there. Slowly whittling them down. Mostly front hits. Alright, so we can move cold metal then. Uh, can we see both of these guys? I want a direct fire and indirect. Why can't we see the guy? Oh, because we don't have someone to see him with. That's why. I can do this, though. It's kind of putting me in a range of those SRMs, but... Let's do this. Hmm, maybe not. If we attack this guy... Better chance to hit over here. Can't fire with that, though. God, the heat problems on this mech are ridiculous. Just fire with the AC-10? So much better chance to hit with the LRM, though. Let's do this. Work for, we're going to work towards inst instability. Uh-oh. Damn it. Where's he going? Oh my god, no! That guy can move. Holy crap. Yep. Receiving you. Can anybody get eyes on? He's gonna get away. He's gonna get away. Uh, we're gonna reserve. I'm gonna try with Pylon. I think Pylon can get some eyes on. He's got one turn and he's out of here. We gotta push him back then, I guess. Alright, Pylon, you first. Can we get eyes on? We can't get eyes on him. There's no one that can get eyes on. He's gone. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no! We cannot stop the target from leaving. Ugh. Well, that was bad. Alright, well, let's see if we can take the striker out. Um, let's go from the side. I copy. Wow. Engaging. Hopefully we kill this guy. There we go. Damn. Well, first mission failed. That's sad. Nothing we can do. Yeah. That is the absolute worst. Let's move. Standing by. Yep, that's it. it. He goes first and we're done. I wish it would take a turn before he would be able to lift off. Yep. Well, at least we didn't die. I think that's the first failure in a mission I've had. We had 71 episodes in the last series. No failures. And then the first episode I play in this one and we fail. Wow. Okay, that's pretty hilarious. 26,000. 26, I wonder if they're going to pity us and give us some stuff here. 
Oh, uh, man. We didn't really take any significant damage, though, which is, I guess, a good thing. I can't... <laughs> They give us a, yeah, well, they give us a light PPC, cool. At least I can sell that. I don't think I'm going to use that. 25 heat, 35 damage, are you kidding me? And a javelin part. Well, that's alright. wonder what our repairs are. Well. 5,000, okay, well, I mean, we made 21,000 off that. <laughs> oh, God. A couple of days of repair. Six days to get back. We'll have our automation up and running after that. My God, I cannot believe that that happened. Uh, what else? What other contracts? There's there something else available here we could take. Well, that'll be for next time. Well, so we've got six days. Let's see if there's something within jump distance. Actually, you know what? Let's look at the uh, store real quick. Uh, only because the uh, thing updated. So, yeah, a bunch of stuff. Nothing we really want at the moment. We don't really have the money for it anyway. LV2X auto cannons, medium laser double plus. That'd be kind of nice. Plus ten laser damage, plus two heat. That's actually really nice. Wonder if we take that. Um, Sixty-nine thousand though. There's eighteen of them. Oh, uh, jeez. Do we have anything we can sell here? What do we have that we don't want? We don't need the arc welders. Let's get rid of those. Sell those. Light PPC we said we were going to sell. So we can get it. We can get one medium laser anyway. Uh, smalls. We're just going to hang on to that stuff. The case we'll hang on to. Small cockpit we don't need. Let's just sell that. Spall liner. We'll probably end up using this at some point down the line. Although the weight change per point of armor is a bit ridiculous. Reduced for 10% reduced damage. 10% is not a whole lot. I know it seems like a lot, but I think we're going to sell the spawn liner at this point. I'm sure we can get it later on. The 10 jump jets will sell. Sell those. I wonder how many we can pick up and still maintain our uh, thing here. Okay, not bad. Not bad. So let's go to buy. We can get at least, maybe, let's get three. Let's get three of these guys. One, New weapon systems available. two, and that should put us back down to where we were. New weapon uh, roughly. Systems. Not bad. We'll have to pull off another mission before the end of the month, but I think that's probably fine. And if, you know, something else comes up, we can definitely, uh, we can definitely sell a couple things to get there. We can sell the javelin part if we had to. All right, let's find some place close here. 13 days and 19 days, 13... 10 days. New Kyoto. Sounds good. Lyrian Commonwealth. Sorry, Lyran Commonwealth. I, I keep calling it Lyrian, but it's Lyran Commonwealth. Planetary Government, Free Worlds League. Let's head there. It's 10 days away. Former Star League presence. Manufacturing. Cool. We're going to travel there. Roger that, so once our mechs are up here, I think what I'll do is I'll probably add those lasers to the Phoenix Hawk. He seems to be pretty good with those medium lasers. So let's go to the bays and go to the Phoenix Hawk. We're going to refit and we'll add at least, we'll add, you know what, we're going to add all three of them to this guy, I think. One, two, three, and we'll go to our lasers. One, two, three. That should help out with the damage. Another 30 damage. Two, four, six extra heat. Not a big deal. We can just turn the uh, small laser on and off. Just confirm this. 4,200 next three days. Cool. We're going to be at the planet very shortly anyway. We'll have the auto, the uh, Argo automation up and running. And I think we're at actually a place right now where we're in a pretty good uh, start position. Once we get to the new planet, we're going to end the episode. And then the next time when we come back, we'll uh, take a new mission. Um, and, you know, I think we got a good timing till the end of the month. So, you know, I don't think we really need to go for cash. We can probably just go for salvage. And hope we don't fail next time. What I should have done is gone straight down the middle rather than moving to the left there. But that oxide, you know, in my defense, that oxide was super fast. So he was off the map board in two turns. Well, really one turn because by the time we found out that he was leaving, it was already halfway there. So... Uh, we, don't need to visit, we don't need to visit the store. What we do need to visit, though, 
is we need to have a look at the hiring hall because the store is going to be the same as the last planet. We need to find another pilot that's super cheap. Nobody here, unless the Navy recruit. No. What else do we got? Nope. Merchant ship crew, dis discount to buying stuff, but for that price, it's not really worth it. So we're going to leave it for now. Um, and when we come back next time, we will undertake another mission. Um, why our monthly rate is going up. I, it's ridiculously higher than I thought it should be. It's like it's almost telling me that I'm on like plus one um, payment for some reason. But anyway, uh, we'll end the episode here. If you like the episode, please drop a like. Feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you all again next time.